So anyway, uh, more beaver things to finish up here. Uh, if the weather stays like this, I'm gonna start cracking, get cracking on my beaver uh, hoops. You know, to you know, till my till work starts anyway. Poor CRV. That's running good, eh, goof? Did that fairy come and pee on your playground? What a bad dog, eh? Oh, but I do have to put my trap and slay away because if I don't and it snows, the plow guy is going to run over my trap and slay. And uh, that just wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be a happy slay and I wouldn't be happy. And then, uh, you know, Operation Happy Meatsicle week would be like postponed because of, uh, you know, slay malfunctions. Yeah. Uh, I, I had to uh, do the boat and the uh, trailer again. It was like, I woke up and I was like, where the hell did the eight inches of snow come from? Like, it wasn't there yesterday. <laughs> but there it was. There it was, gone. Uh, there you go. So, this operation, this is, not like, this is why you can't plan anything. Look, I can walk right onto my roof. Is because like you know it's like okay i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and you and uh, then uh you know i gotta get in there i can't tell i can't see there i gotta get those carcasses out of there too because uh if i forget about those that's gonna stink up when the when it gets real nice got some logs over there that were on fire in the furnace and when my pipes uh, were clogged there so and it take get it clear the furnace so let's go up an elevation of about eight feet it doesn't look like it but the snowbank's about eight feet high and uh see the top of my boat top of my trailer portrait there that's gotta go i hate to get rid of it but that's gotta go too just can't afford to keep anything at this rate you know like it's different when you have the money to take care of stuff but yeah but that's a lot of snow basically you could step on the boat from well, here I'll show you. Now, when you're walking on dangerous ground, make sure you have a sharp object in your hand. So, considering this, this is probably about nine feet, 10 feet tall to the top here. It's a long way down if you slide in under there. Okay, <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. Uh, I shoveled this out yesterday. Yeah, it's pretty icy. There's nice big chunks of ice in here. Can't smash the ice off or nothing because uh, if you do, you'll uh you'll uh you know fiberglass doesn't like impact in the cold you know so uh, i don't like impact when you fall over a man overboard situation in this situation probably wouldn't be good but uh, yeah getting really cleaning on this boat uh, my poor brother's car my dad's boat BS snowbanks, trailers, trap and shack. Used to be a turkey goop, now it's a track and shack. My poor, everything I got is broken. Why is everything I got broken? CRV's broken. I mean, everything's broken. Broken is stupid. Oh anyway, yeah, there we go. Get the black window uncovered. Draw some heat to the, to the boat. It just gets uncovered. I remember last year because we got that rain or whatever. It's not bad this year, but the, the cockpit was about half full. And I know what you're saying. Why don't you just cover it up over the winter? Uh, I got tarps to do it. Problem is the railings. And uh, I didn't get around to taking the railings off so I could just drape the carp, uh, carp, tarp over it. Ugh. Ooh, that, my poor windows. Hopefully it doesn't break all my windows. That's a lot of weight there. Uh, but anyway, get more heat out of here. Look at that fries. Don't want to poke a hole there. Dark spots. Dark spots all. Yeah, don't know what I'm going to do with this poor old trailer. But you got to keep the snow off it like there it's it's it, there's stuff there that's why it looks like there's a lot of snow there but there there really isn't uh because i got a bunch of stuff piled up there to hold the keep the 
everything closed up. But I gotta do something with this trailer anyway. Gotta do something with this trailer. Yeah. Anyway.